or the question of aliens, you know, uh, Gary Nolan, Avi Loeb, many others. And I'm just very intrigued into the reason why we're the only ones on the on our galaxy, like why on our uh, at least on orbiting our sun. Why do you, are there any like on your perspective? You know, any thoughts on, you know, why is it that we're the only ones and how did we get so lucky? And do you feel that maybe someday we'll be able to see other uh, fellow aliens, if we can call them that, or non-human entities, as Gary Nolan likes to call them? Well, I, I mean, I think our galaxy is, is teeming with life. I think it's everywhere in life, throughout the galaxy. And I think there is intelligent life out there somewhere. Absolutely. There, there's the... In, one of the things that plays into this, that the amazing number of planets that are being discovered. Mm -hmm. I remember when the first exoplanet was found. But the idea, the fact that every single star does have planets around it. There's a, it's not just our solar system, but they all have planets. And there's got to be life on, 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 a lar on a many, many of those. So I totally believe there's life out there. But that's and and maybe even some of these moons that are going around Jupiter, they have water and so maybe or maybe under underwater life. Now the question of why intelligent life has not visited us, which I don't think it has. That's some some people call it the Fermi paradox, although it was actually originally by other people. I don't remember who, but it wasn't really Fermi. But the I will give you my opinion on that, which is that if they're intelligent enough to get here, we are not very interesting, right? For example, and, and what frightens me is that we take very little care of other species on our own planet, like children like to step on ants. Well, we'd be like ants to them. So I don't really want them to visit us. <laughs> they would just have fun squashing us. They would probably just ignore us altogether. But so I'm, I, I'm not really eager to meet them they're, because they're, the, they're got to be more intelligent than we are. Why would they be interested in, a, in us? We, look, we can't even communicate with whales we can't even take an interest enough to keep them alive mm. so this so i'm not i'm not really the, the idea of sending out all these radio signals to, hey come visit us i don't know <laughs> i think it's a little scary yeah so yes i believe there are some things out there absolutely but it's not is it going to be walking on two legs is it going to want to speak human language of course not wow yeah you mentioned now exoplanets. I also discussed this with Sarah Steger, who who works on this field on exoplanets, and it's just it's a good point. Like, do we really want them to visit us? Like, what, maybe we can just say hi from the you know from very long distances. On the same, at the same time, maybe we're like their experiments. Who knows? It would be so interesting. Like, there are so many questions here. Um, I would love to, I don't know if during, you know, with AI, maybe we'll get closer to those kinds of answers and maybe AI in itself will help you in your field, understanding dark matter and dark energy. But, um, yeah. I mean, we definitely use AI to do a lot at this point. So like what? Search. If you're going to, uh, and astronomy has some of the biggest data sets on earth, right? Hmm. And so identifying objects, simple, simple classification has already made like makes life easier. And people have tried, including Jeff Hinton, who got the Nobel Prize recently, trying to figure out, can you learn new laws of physics and extract, extract information about the universe? That nothing yet. OK, I don't know how easy that is going to be, but there's so and and um, and learning about it's i don't know you you have this huge amounts of data there's so much you can learn and you use ai to help you to do it it's no question wow no it, it'll be really really great to see just how much it'll help and leverage all of the information you've been working with and just allow to have you know more more answers and more questions to your work but Look, JWST has this enormous data how do you think we're going to find dark stars we're going to use some machine learning to go look for them yeah I mean, that's, it's yeah, that a very would be a simple example. Yeah. And really interesting.